Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Today's video is finally the diaper bag video. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but I had some hiccup with my health issue. So um, yeah, I just have like low iron, so I had to go through like an IV drip and all of that. And so I wasn't filming and today I literally thought I wasn't gonna film, but somehow I got a full face of makeup because I am officially 37 weeks today and I am exhausted. Okay, this kid is just exploding. Like over here, I look all good and it's all nice. Over here, it's like a mountain waiting to burst. It's just, you know, a volcanic eruption needs to happen. And this kid's moving so much. And I was just like, you know what? If I don't get this video done this week, I don't know what's gonna happen and this is never going up. So I wanted to do this for all my mamas out there, all my first time moms. You must know that I am a first time mom and I have done my research and I've narrowed it down to these brands and these products. Now they may not be your ideal pick or they might not be perfect yet. I don't know, I haven't had the baby yet, okay? So I don't really know if the product works or if it's the best product, no clue. I did my own research. I saw a bunch of mom videos on Instagram, on YouTube, and I just made my own informed decision. I was like, you know what? Too many opinions, too much advice. Even on Instagram, you guys are like, this is amazing. This is not good. You should use this. You should use that. And I'm like, girl, girl, I'm as, as a new mom, too overwhelmed. So these are my personal picks for my baby. So um, I might switch it up later on. I might not like a certain product later on. I have no idea. So I just wanna put it out there that this is just the first time mom showing you her diaper bag that I'm gonna be taking to the hospital. Okay, that's what this video is about. And I might change a bunch of things in the future. So this is a fun video. Honestly, I researched so much about ingredients. I tried to see that there was no fragrance. I know it can get very, very confusing and overwhelming in the market today when you look for a baby product. I was surprised how I could not go to one brand for baby products. I have so many different brands here. I'm just like, why? Why couldn't I go to one brand? You know, so my massage oil is from someone else, my shower gel is from someone else. And I'm just like, that's difficult because every time I turn to see the ingredients, um, I try to avoid fragrance. I don't want perfume or fragrance in the baby product, not required, but some of them do have it and I just could not find a product that was without fragrance. Uh, all right guys, so let's begin with the bag. Now I have a few weeks left to go. I don't know the gender of the baby. My mama intuition feels it's a boy. Did you see? I feel it's a boy, I'm getting that feel and vibe. My hair is so glossy, my skin is so good. I picked up on certain cues and how my belly is like lower and this and that. So I'm just guessing it's a boy. But a lot of you said twins, by the way, I don't know. I know I'm big, but come on, it's a single baby. <laughs> that I can confirm for you. <laughs> so no twins. And a lot of you say it's little miles in there, it's a girl baby. And I'm wearing pink, but it has nothing to do with the gender, you guys. Okay, so that's why everything in my bag you're about to see is all gender neutral. All the colors are neutral. I'm having a beige baby. It can be a boy, it can be a girl. My baby's gonna wear beige no matter what. <laughs> My OGs know that. And uh, any earthy color, it spans from taupe to beige to light beige to brown to white to cream. That's the range I have of colors. So don't say I don't have colors, okay? But it's funny how my mom also like, this baby's never gonna know color in its life. And I'm just like, that's so mean, but true. All right, so I'm gonna begin with what kind of a bag I have now with me. And it's a very bougie bag. Let me just tell you, like, I am a bougie girl. I'm also a bougie mom and I like to have good things, okay? Oh, I shouldn't be lifting stuff. This is the bag. You guys have seen this. This is uh, from Base by Shea Mitchell. I will have everything linked down below. It's available on the Nika Global store as well, in case you guys wanna check it out. It has a ton of pockets and it was created by Shea Mitchell. You know, Pretty Little Liars, you guys, and she's a mom too. So um, I really like the amount of pockets she had and stuff like that in her brand. But you get the same bag now on Amazon. Like not same, of course not. This is mad good quality. But you get like similar diaper bags on Amazon. Okay, my go-to shopping destination for all baby things and stuff was literally I used to look up Amazon first. So just throwing it out there, don't feel overwhelmed to go to a particular website or store to buy. Just sit at home and you'll get everything delivered to you. Okay, so I saw a bunch of videos and I narrowed it down to these products. I don't think a baby requires more than these products. I'm pretty sure I'm overpacking, but I don't know what the hospital provides you with uh, in terms of baby care. So I picked up whatever I thought I wanted to be comfortable with. So the first thing I'm pulling out here 
is this one. Now I know babies love to be swaddled and put in comfy, cozy environments. So this is something uh, Tulo Baby sent me actually. A newborn 2.2 kg to 3.8 kg, 0 to 1 month. Um, this is it right here. Super cute. Babies would love to be put in this. Um, they say the best thing is always buy a zip down. Even when you buy clothes, you want to buy a zip and not buttons. Avoid buying newborn baby clothes with buttons or like t-shirt and pants. I think all of that can come a little later when you're settled in. Because in the night when you wake up to change a diaper, you don't want to sit and open buttons in the night. You just want to zip up and, you know, zip down. It's like a baby pod. You know, you just put them in it and they feel super comfy. So it's something I thought I'd carry with me so I can put baby in it. So the these little flaps are like the arms stay up. If baby likes to put the arms up and it just stays in this really cute pod. I love the color of it as well. It's mint green color. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. I think it's just an easy swaddle situation. When it comes to burp cloths, again, I'm not sure what my feeding situation is going to be. But these are some burp cloths. Again, I purchased from... I don't like it when brands don't put their branding on their product. So I think these are burp cloths from Amazon. I am not sure again. So this is what you do, right? You just place the burp cloth and put the baby and burp it. Okay, so these are two book cloths I carried with me. Again, I'm carrying very minimal stuff. I don't want to overpack. I will maximum be there for two days. And then this is also, I think, yeah, book cloths only. I think these are from Masilo. I'm pretty sure. There are some baby brands that are very, very popular that are going around. It's from Masilo Organic Cotton, made in India. Very cute beige book cloth. Okay, so I think this is really nice. If, even if you want to bathe your baby, you can just put the cloth, you know, swaddle bathing. Just put the cloth on the baby's chest and pour water on it. So, yeah, I'm not going to bathe baby instantly, of course not. But these are just extra napkins, burp cloths I'm just carrying with me in case I ever need. And they're really cute. They've got like, look at this. It's like a sheep. The next item, my hair is all a mess. I'm not blow dried my hair as well. I just brushed it out. So... I can't, I can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, the next thing we have is swaddle cloths. Okay, swaddles are really important as well because baby loves to be snug and all tight. So I think when newborn babies, you know that kapra they wrap on them, so cute. They look like little burrito breads. So this is that. And I think I got one of these gifted from France. So these are all like gifts from baby showers and stuff. Very easily available in any market out there on Amazon. I learned how to swaddle, but still. You make a triangle, put the baby in the center, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and I have multiple. I just call for multiple. They're very, they're the same material, very soft. And I think these are muslin. China, 100% cotton. Yeah, it's from France. Just another pattern, you guys. That's it. These are also like extra cloths that I'm carrying. I'm carrying a lot of cloths because I see babies like spit up a lot. They're very gooey and like, I don't know. They have a lot of stuff oozing out so i have a lot of these small soft cloths just in case baby needs a wipe down you know anything of that sort i have extra cloths and these are from amazon so i'll have them linked down below so you can check them out as well and then we have this base bag it comes with the bag okay it's good to have like pockets and stuff pouches if you want to segregate your items i put two diapers my hospital bag has the entire diaper situation. I didn't want to stuff all the diapers in this bag, but I'm pretty sure hospitals give diapers. I'm not sure actually, but I carried them anyway. I will again link it. It's the Huggies diaper. Okay, it's the extra small is what I call for. And it just goes in like a pan, like soup, like that. Okay, it's not the sticky ones. Um, so I'm carrying a bunch of them with me in my hospital bag. So diaper bag has diapers. I have the Aquaphor Bum Cream. This is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment for babies. Advanced therapy for dry, chapped or irritated skin. Hypoallergenic, skin protectant and fragrance free. Okay, when I see fragrance free, I'm just like, give it to me. So yeah, this is great. I saw a bunch of YouTubers talk about this, saying that it's a really nice... Aquaphor is known to like be very calming on the skin anyway. So when I saw Aquaphor Baby, I got this from Amazon, you guys. Slightly pricey, I will tell you. But worth it okay it's a very it's like petroleum jelly let me show you wow it's so thick it's like vaseline you know but a thicker form so in case baby has rashes or something dry patches you just want to put that and let it calm down Ooh, it's slightly cooling temporarily protects minor cuts 
scrapes, burns, protects and relieves chapped and cracked skin or lips, protects from the drying effects of cold weather, helps treat a diaper rash, chafed skin, protects it from wetness, apply as needed, change wet and soiled diapers, cleanse the diaper area, allow it to dry and then apply. All right, so along with Aquaphor, I also have baby powder. It's not come yet. I just ordered it. I was confused on whether should I need it, should I not? But then I'm like, yeah, maybe to keep the area, bum area dry. So I called for the Mimi Fresh Feel Baby Powder. Okay, I'm going to have it on the screen. I'm going to have it linked down below. This is the Mimi uh, Fresh Feel Baby Powder. It's clinically tested to be gentle on baby's skin. Shake the powder and apply it. So this is, okay, it's got the purple cap because they have two, three powders, I think. And this is the diaper one. We have another cloth, another swaddle. Swaddles are important. Fill your bag with them. Then we have something that's very controversial and I don't know if moms use passies or not, but I think I'm going to be the mom to use pacifiers. These are the pacifiers I call for. Um, it's by Philips Advent. Again, available on Amazon. Super cute designs. See, so sweet. Okay, and then we have a lion. So you get very few designs on there. And I, um, since my nursery is going to be like forest themed, I thought like, this is cute, lion and stuff. So I am carrying the pacifiers. Um, what happens typically is like, okay, the baby doesn't leave the pacifier after a certain time, gets very used to it, gets nipple confused. Too much advice out there, but I feel like it's okay to give a baby passy because so what soothes them the most is the sucking motion. So anything they get to like suck, it soothes them. Okay, and if you just keep feeding the baby whenever it wants to, just whenever it's cranky, it's going to get used to your nipple and then girls say bye bye to them nipples. <laughs> you don't want the baby to be overly attached to your nipples. So then nothing they will accept. So you want to make sure you're dabbling a little bit, pacifier, a little nipple, a little pacifier. So, um, obviously don't put this 24 seven. It's just when they want to soothe themselves to sleep. That's when you just place the pacifier. That's what I believe in. Personal opinion. I know there's going to be a lot of like opinions down there, but this is something I think I will use. All right. I'll talk to you guys about products in a bit. I'm finishing off the clothes aspect. My baby's going to be a beige baby. Like we all know, I got gifted a ton of clothes for my sister-in-law that she never used for Belle. Again, they're all gender neutral, beige color. And I bought so many outfits in my first trimester. When I heard about it, I was just like ordering for beige stuff. And my go-to websites were H&M and Zara. They have the most classy baby outfits I've ever seen. Like they're all gender neutral on the website, which I love. And I have these ones. This is from, the label has been cut off. There is no branding over here. Sorry guys. But this is a very cute zip up hippopotamus onesie, which I think is so adorable. And it's a newborn vibe. And one thing I realized all mothers say is try and buy the shut feet onesie. Of course, there's not there's nothing to it. There are no rules. It's your baby. Do what you want. But this like little feet thing keeps the feet a little warm instead of having to put socks, extra stuff, extra mittens. It's just a lot of stuff on the baby. So try and buy something that already has the feet cover in so you're safe. Zip that damn baby up. Okay, you don't have to go button. Always buy zips. It's very easy to change the diaper in the middle of the night, like I said. Then we have this from H&M. This is the one to two months category this color though is everything okay again a zip down onesie i'm just showing you and then i'm taking this color which i found it came in a set so i have like this this and one more color came there a set of three set of four beautiful reduced prices really good stuff check them out um, i really love this color so much so i put this also in the bag again the same zip down one so i carried like four to five onesies i carried a little hat <laughs> for pictures maybe i don't know so cute i think babies in beanies are so adorable like i'm obsessed like look at this curie thing and i know it's bombay it's the middle of summer it's gonna be a may baby but here i am putting it off with like little beanies on the little head this is from one to six it's 1200 bucks from zara I just found it very cute, so I'm like, I'm getting it. I was trying to find these name cards. How adorable is this? This was by a small brand, actually. I searched a lot on Amazon. They have it on Etsy and Amazon. It's very expensive for some damn reason. It's like 2,000, 5,000, and I'm like, what? It's just a piece of fake wood. So I think I got it at a very reduced rate and I got a card with it saying thank you for supporting like a small brand, which I love. 
Hello baby, name, date, weight, length and time. So I really, really like this. Maybe I'll take a photo with baby born. And they, it comes with permanent marker. Like that's the cutest thing ever. Like look at this. And this is also beige. So I got it. I have a mirror for myself. I don't know. Just have it in the diaper bag. I have a pair of socks from Zara again. Loving the grey tones here. I really love also how soft it is. And this is from 0 to 1. Okay, really cute. Socks in case it's cold. I don't know. I'm just carrying everything I possibly can. I found one more model which I didn't show you guys. I think this was also gifted to me in my baby shower. It's such a cute swaddle. <laughs> it's blue. It's I love this. This is like such a cute print. All right, let's talk about some products. Now, I know this can be, again, super, super personal and very subjective okay i've done some research like i said earlier i only focused on avoiding fragrance that was my most important thing i realized that i was reaching out to avino a lot and i got this from either nika or amazon either or no recollection of that but of course very easily available in the drugstores as well so the first one is a body wash it's the Avino Baby Lightly Scented Daily Moisturizing Bath Natural Oat Formula Head to Toe. See, this has fragrance as well. So it's one of those things where I was really, really struggling to find products without fragrance, like even baby care products. So they do have perfume and they do have fragrance at the very last line of the ingredient, which means that they have point some percent of fragrance very less but they do have fragrance and i don't know why that's needed i don't know i don't understand it i think this was like the best i could find in the market in terms of body wash the rest of it is actually pretty good it's got like oat extract oat essence delicate for skin and hair without leaving and feeling dry so i picked this one up let me know what body washes you guys are using i would love some recommendations and suggestions I don't think I'm gonna bathe my kid for the first two days. That's a little too much. You just have to sponge bath it. For body lotion, if my baby's not gonna have body lotion and hydrate everywhere, I don't know what is. <laughs> Babies are too dry also. So this is again the Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture Lotion and Natural Oatmeal. Uh, protects, moisturizes, yeah, baby skin for 24 hours. It says fragrance free over here. So this is fragrance free. So the lotion does not have fragrance in it. And that's why I thought I would buy this. So body wash and lotion from Aveeno. Okay, and then I wanted a body oil for my baby. Of course, <laughs> I wanted a massage oil. Okay, when, when I was researching for massage oils, I found a lot of brands that I would typically not buy or they were too cheap. I don't know, maybe I'll just use coconut oil, almond oil straight up. But then I wanted a baby massage oil and it was quite difficult to find a brand that actually had like no fragrance. But I narrowed it down to these two. So the first one was the Mama Earth one. It's the Mama Earth Soothing Massage Oil for Babies with Sesame, Almond and Jojoba Oil. Zero to five years now. Honestly, I'm not sure about this. It's just one I found without fragrance. Yes, they don't have fragrance in this. Um, they just have like a lot of grapeseed oil, sesame sesame, olive oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, lavender oil, really good stuff in it. But when I put this at the back of my hand, my hand sort of like got some bumps. No clue if it was this or something else. I tried it again. Again, I got some like, I was feeling like itching. So I really, you really should test your products out before putting them onto baby. Now I put it on my chest and I'm not feeling anything on my chest. I felt it on my arm for some reason. So again, not sure. I'm not recommending any of these to you guys i'm just telling you what i bought because i have not used it okay so this ain't a recommendation video it's not you know how i am with baby products and any product this is just something i thought i'll try but i also found this this is the baby sebamed massage oil and i like cetaphil sebamed i'm like feeling those brands now this is botanical oil emollient soya oil with high content content of vitamin f let me see see it has parfum the last name if you see fragrance or perfume in the last line that means they do have a very little amount of fragrance in this it's really sad why they do i don't know why they have to add fragrance i mean yeah it doesn't really have a lot of good butters in fact this has much more like better oils than this i just wanted to try i'm at that stage where i'm just trying out stuff that i think will be good oh it smells it doesn't smell that it smells like a newborn baby and again, Sebamed, Cetaphil, I think these brands are very skin concern brands. Like they cater to certain skin types, which I like. And they're very trusted, I feel. It smells so 
Oh my god, this is like a newborn baby smell. Oh my sweetie, I can just like imagine. This is a good perfume. <laughs> Oh, this is this is like literally how a newborn baby would smell. Like whatever you're thinking in your head, that's exactly what it smells. Oh my god, I really like it. I picked this one up. Let's see, it's a cute size. I'll use it. <laughs> it doesn't suit baby. So you want to test patch it on the side of the thigh or something. Wait for a bit. See if it's reacting to it. I don't think it should because this is a really good brand. So so those were my products so i'm not i don't have too many products and babies don't need too many products on their skin okay it's just like feel good products just to massage and everything so you have the baby wash which is for hair and body then you have the body lotion then you have nice little oil tail malish and then you just swaddle them up and you're good to go okay and baby powder or balm for diaper rashes that's all you don't need to go out there and buy anything else i'm using this for my <laughs> skin forget baby okay so for wipes i have these wipes right here these are the mother's sparsh wipe um it's pure water 99% pure water extra gentle extra thick and it's got 72 wipes again wipes were overwhelming i'm like which wipe is good but i just like the 99% pure water that's all i need i don't need extra fragrance i don't need extra alcohol anything in this yeah it doesn't have anything and a lot of you also liked it apparently a lot of moms were saying like this was a really good wipe so i got like a bunch like a big set of seven 14 actually packs like this you get it on amazon for um it's not that expensive it's like 2000 rupees for like six seven this is one of the wipe brand i like let's see how this goes uh it's water it's like what do you what do you want <laughs> you know so yeah this is it for now and i'm carrying like two packets of wipes with me do i need more quantities i don't know you guys need to let me know how many packs of wipes and diapers i need to carry to the hospital all first time moms or moms let me know below because i'm confused i'm like maybe two is enough i'm not sure so that is all i have in my diaper bag i still have a lot of space in it it's something that i will carry to the hospital and see what i need i will be doing a follow-up video way in the future telling you if this is what i actually use and this is what you actually need okay because i've seen those videos as well and you most probably don't need a lot of stuff or you do need a lot of stuff let's see that is such a cute panda doll look at that isn't it the cutest it's the silicone i'll show you in my hospital bag video stay tuned that is it guys that's all i have for you in today's diaper bag video i hope you enjoyed who knew eight years later i'd be sitting and doing a diaper bag video you guys i never 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 thought of that <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for the love babies do any minute you guys get prepped for the newest member of the youtube fam all right guys i love you all the best to all the new moms out there I would be happy to know your recommendations down below. Again, like I said, I'm a new mom. So please be very kind to all the other moms as well on public platforms and in the comment section down below. It's not needed. We're going through a lot already. Okay, so please drop your recommendations. Tell me what mama should get. What body oil should I go for? What body wash has suited you the most? Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Maybe with the baby, who knows? Okay, bye. It's so hot.